Okay, so this will show you how to make a map uh, for your territory in Google Maps. What we want to do is make sure that you're logged in to your current account um, for Tyrrells, uh, uh, for Gmail. So mine's cbd.tyrrells at gmail.com. Yours will be something different. Uh, and then, of course, in the map section, in the, in the main map window, we want to go to the menu, three bars here on the left. Click, go down. You want to go to your places, click on that, and it's going to come up with maps here. So we want to click on maps. Now, that's my territory there. We're not going to click on that now and see that. I've shown you that. What we're going to do is down the bottom here, we're going to go and we're going to create a map. So we'll click on create map. It opens up a new tab. I'm doing all this in Google Chrome because, of course, it's just easier between Google products. Now, of course, it gives us all of Australia. Uh, we're going to rename the map. We're going to call this Simon's Territory. We're not going to bother with the description. We can add layers. We'll do a new layer in a minute, but first we'll just stick with the layer that we have. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change this layer, rename this layer, and we're going to call it um, Primary Customers. Okay, so what we want to do is we can start by sort of zooming into more or less your territory. Uh, let's say we're going to go to uh, the, well, we've got Wollongong, of course, we've got the, the Shire. Okay. Okay, so we can add customers by either manually adding them, which we'll do in a second, or we can search for them like we do normally with Google Maps. So, for example, we might do Cronulla Sellers. There is a place. Nope. Uh, Shire Sellers. Shire Sellers. Okay, there we go. Flora Street Sutherland. Okay, so it's found it straight away like this. Uh, it's got the phone number and everything there. What we want to do is just click Add to Map. Okay, now we can do a few things here. We can change the color of the needle uh, or, or the point. Right now it's set obviously to default blue. It's got different icons, different styles. Uh, you can do what you want uh, with more icons, browse icon library. Um, but what I'm going to do here, let's say it's one of our biggest customers. Uh, we can choose a color that maybe highlights that it is one of our bigger customers. Uh, it's up to you how you want to do it. I choose yellow, for example. Uh, so that's one thing I do. Then I might edit it. I might say, okay, I know it's called Shire Sellers. I'll, I'll leave all these details here. It's got the phone number. It's got their website address. But I might say things like, you know, I take stuff from my, um, my Google Drive. Uh, let's say it's run by Matt and Jeff. Just to, so when you're in in the system, you just know instantaneously who's running it, where it is. When you've got any parking outside, you, you're about to run in. Just small details. I only do this for the bigger customers anyway. Uh, you can add photos and things like that too, but it's not really necessary. So, of course, I close that. We zoom out. Of course, it stays on the map. Uh, let's say we want to, uh, I mean, for example, we could... We could always put in McDonald's Kirawi, add to map, for example, but we're not going to. Let's just say that we can't find somewhere uh, when we search for it. Uh, it's much easier to search for it and put it in, but if we can't, we can always add a point. So what we do is we just go up to the menu here, okay, and we can do, say, add a marker at, let's say, 585 here, okay. And so in this case, we'll call it uh, Shire Restocking Hub. Or whatever you want okay and again it's the same process uh, we can change the color maybe he's not such a hot customer so we'll give him green uh, uh, we can edit the details but of course it all locks in okay and as you can see here as we do more customers let's say we throw in another point here in Miranda and you can see here it just keeps on adding more we'll call this Royal Hotel Miranda okay save and so it just builds up one by one by one it builds up okay now what we can do is possibly even add a new layer okay so for example I've got several other layers one layer is for Jane's accounts that I can't touch um, but I also have a layer for territory boundary so I'm just clicking the add layer button okay I'm going to rename it 
and we could do it boundary boundary save now your territory is quite long uh, that's cool that's fine we'll manage add a line or shape of course it starts somewhere here in Kuji and it runs pretty much along roads for example uh, I suppose you get some of Darling Harbour, some of Balmain, let's do it out through the harbour, down through here, back down through Ashfield, Lokemba, Mortdale. This is where it gets a bit slow. We're going to try and push it through. Minai, Engadine, Heathcote. So we'll just slowly truck our way south, push it west a bit through the forests. Anyway, you get the drift. Let's just say you have to go further south than that for yours, but we'll just call that that. And then, of course, it keeps on wanting to do this, go out. But if you just click on the last point again, then it's done. It locks the boundary in. Okay, and then again, we can rename it. So we'll call it from line one, we'll just call it boundary. And then we just click save. We can change the color if we wanted to. Black looks pretty good. So that's kind of like how you could mark out your territory. Okay, so that's all, of course, done now. Uh, it's all automatically saved uh, in Drive, so we can just close it down. Okay, when I refresh, of course, my maps, here it is, Simon's territory. Now, when I view it in this window, I can't edit it. I can't edit things anymore. Uh, it's simply, as you can see. Um, it just if I click on something say here uh, all I get is the basic information Shire sellers run by Matt and Jeff no phone numbers no nothing like that that we had before um, so it's just a holistic approach holistic view but if I go back I'll close it down I should say okay so I go to your places what you need to do to get these details is you need to really open it in the viewer so it says open in my maps which is here okay so we open it in my maps now you'll find uh, these are very hard to this is very hard to see when you're on mobile uh, when you're using your iPad or using your phone you'll actually have to view this in the Safari or Google Chrome browser uh, on on the phone to, to get this kind of usability uh, because you won't be able to well sometimes it works in Google Maps sometimes it doesn't um, but it works much better in the browser, so you get there, you'll get used to it. It's easier probably from home when you want to plot things out uh, uh, the night before um, which route you're going to take. Uh, but that's essentially it. Uh, now, of course, we can turn the boundary off if we want to and on again, um, and that's everything. It's done. Uh, good luck.